Now, as you know, um, Justice Scalia passed away, and that opened up an opportunity in a way for us to really lift up this issue throughout the country and fill that vacancy and hope that we could trickle that down to our lower courts as well. Well, that has not happened. Um, it has been unprecedented here as well with the amount of obstruction we are seeing. Um, the longest a Supreme Court nominee has ever waited for confirmation is 125 days. He is going to be, oh, he's about at 200 days of waiting now. Um, on October uh, 3rd, we will start our next Supreme Court term, and it'll be the first time in history that two Supreme Court terms are affected by a vacancy in American history. Um, so these are the kind of obstructionist numbers that now we have and the precedent we are setting for future presidencies and senates. So once again, our job is to lift up that obstruction and really uh, push our senators to do, do their jobs. You understand when we have a Supreme Court with eight people, basically four and four, we no longer have a decision of, of what the law is for the United States because it's been split. And so the lower court decision stays intact. And, and that's affected things like with Hobby Lobby about women employees uh, making sure that the health insurance their employer provides covers contraception. Um, there's a lot of things that dramatically affect our population that a, a split, split court is not going to deal with.